Hello, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel, I'm SimTwitch and welcome back to the ABCS Hopper. Um, I didn't really intend on doing this, I did this between the Stock Car Challenge Subaru uh, video. Um, because, yeah, I couldn't find a good C-Class lobby to enter so I thought maybe I'd find C-Class in this. But every time I went into C-Class it kept kicking me out, or it wouldn't let me... Um, wouldn't let me into the uh, into the race. I kept trying to get a different tune because uh, they, they just wouldn't have suited the Subaru and it just didn't want to agree. Um, so we're running out the first lap at Road Atlanta, and that guy, he was really quick. This guy, um, I didn't catch his name there. And we had, we had exchanged a couple of messages uh, throughout. Uh, so we were always similar place on the track, even when we weren't in the same class. Um, so yeah, we, we managed to hold him off due to traffic, and then we managed to sneak up the inside of that uh, 190E. Um, and then I ran it really deep, partially due to that uh, little lip, but fortunately the guy behind did as well. So we didn't really lose anything. And then these were the top two in C class, and they were still leading the race. Um, so none of the S class cars have gone through yet. And that focus getting a little bit argy bargy with it, but um, yeah, getting up the inside. And I should have really won. Over, oh no, there was a C class guy who won overall. Um, I don't know if that Jag pushed me a little bit. But I, I lost control regardless. And uh, talking about losing control, into the Honda S800, this thing. There's a guy on his. I don't know how he ended up down there. Um, the Honda S800 always out of control. So we're in second place, um, grinding off that wall. We're actually rev banging, uh, maxed out. Uh, but we've still got much higher top end than that charge at Daytona. And I don't know if there was contact between them. Um, I didn't think there was, but they both ran really deep. And that left me rather well placed in this race. So there's now, I think a C class car is still behind. Um, no, that, that's the uh, B class guy I'm fighting. And yeah, he, he did. To be fair, that was a clean move he did around the outside there. Um, yeah, and in hindsight, I may have gone with the 166 double M on this track. Uh, it probably had a higher top end overall. But um, yeah, as you can see on the little map, there's now uh, S class and A class guys catching up, but they're not actually doing any dent into the. Uh, lead. It wasn't until this bit. It was the same guy who I had that duel with at Road Atlanta in A-Class. Surgeon Light? I think that was his name as he went past. Um, so yeah, different class, but still same place on the track. Um, nearly losing it there, shifted down to two by accident. Um, so I really... I wasn't, there's no way I was getting the overall win. Maybe I could get an overall podium. Uh, that's sort of where I was thinking about at the moment. Um, no chance of the overall win. And I think that's the other guy who was in B class, not the original guy that I was fighting with in that charger. And we're taking that rather well this time, um, which I hadn't done previously. And he's now right up the tail of the car. And I don't know what happened to that guy. Uh, that was an A class guy. Um, I don't know what happened to the S class guy, but he sort of lost it. Um, and I'm not sure why. Right, as you can see, that Alpha had nothing on him. That's a whole 100 pi higher. And I tried to avoid him. Um, I, he, he backed off. He backed off well there. Um, and I don't really know why. Um, I don't know why he backed off. Uh, 
So I hit him up the back, but that, that was my fault. I should have anticipated him being somewhere else. So we actually won that overall in B class. Um, despite the S class and an A class car going through. Then we got put in S class in the. Um, at Sebring at night. So it started with this guy. Uh, I thought I was going to be fighting this guy because it looked like the other guy had missed the start. It was going rather well until he hit me up the back. And that allowed the Skyline. It's the number 84, number 11. It's number 11, 1984 Skyline. That's now gone through. And he, he did well in traffic, he did very well in traffic. Even though he came up at rather awkward locations, he still managed to make the best of it. Um, although, using a bit extra track there. And th this was the closest I managed to get with him to fighting. Um, but I was just a bit too late on the brakes. And yeah, he managed to get it well up the inside of that guy. I couldn't run it out wide, I wanted to run it wider, but that guy was in the way. Um, and then, yeah, you can see we're gaining on the straight. We're really gaining. That S2000, yeah, I, I wish he'd pulled to the inside. Um, and I'd needed to be in gear 2 sooner. You can see it's sort of snapped out. Um, see, on the straights we were gaining, I think it was a that was C class we're now going past. And then it, it just. Uh, it just formed a roadblock and I couldn't really do anything. And that guy, he just got away. There was nothing I could do. Um, I didn't want to hit the back of either of them, but they just formed a block and I couldn't change direction. I would think I was on the brakes as well, um, but just not quick enough. And narrowly really avoiding that guy. And there's the third. Uh, surg surging light again. I just outbreak myself. Um, and then using that escape road, uh, I didn't want to cut back into the track. And yeah, that overtaking another S2000. So the only guy I lost to was that guy in S class. And he did run it a bit wide there, but it was just. I didn't get lucky with the traffic, and I think he got. He got rather lucky, but he also played it very well, so fair play to him for winning that. So, now we skip over to VIR in B class again. And, uh, it started alright, to be fair. We managed to get up, get up the inside there. I thought the guy in the Mustang, that was surging light again. Um, I sort of cut across him there, I felt bad for it. He managed to get through, and then we had a little... Uh, I went around the outside, um, but I sort of cut across him. Um, and like shoved him off the track. Um, so I, I tried to let him go through, and he was trying to let me go. And that let the other guy through. Um, and he kept right I, I said no, after you. Having looked back at that, I didn't actually force him off the track. Um, I thought I did. I did manage to get past him again. Um, and I just tried to take too much speed through there. And yeah. I mean, dead last in the class. Not last in the race. Um, like the S class guys and the A class guys didn't see any of them. Um, so we did alright, but yeah. Then we moved over to bar 13 A class. This there was only one other guy, and uh, we didn't see much of him. Well, I tried to go around the outside, and he wasn't having any of it. Um, I don't know if he didn't know I was there, or maybe he was trying to force me off. He didn't really do much because uh, he was in a Lotus around bar first. I was pretty proud of that. I thought it was quite slick going around the outside of that guy. Because this car does not handle this RX-7. Um, it's all power and no handling. In the mirror, I think you can see how that Viper does uh, respect him. So you see that Viper's coming up 
and it's got nothing. It's got a whole hundred PI over me, and it didn't stand a chance down this uh, down this straight. And you can see how quick we caught up to that B-class guy. That Viper is a distant memory now. Um, put in another car between himself and me, and yeah, it it's not good on the brakes. It was yeah, not good. And then through here I just I just couldn't I don't have the handling of that Viper um, yeah I thought I could get the overall win um, but then I, I think this Viper didn't treat surging light well um, yeah so I was quite I mean, he got well out of the way of me I wouldn't have I'm not like that, so I wouldn't have like shoved him out of the way for being in a lower class. I would have. I, re I respected his time. He pulled well out of the way, um, sliding around the outside of him because that's the only way this car does is sideways. And when I tried to catch up to that Viper, but he just had too much handling in the handling sections. Um, like you can see, I've definitely gained on him on the map, but. Um, yeah, we needed the handling again too quick. If he'd overtaken me in that final section rather than in like the middle of the top of the hill, uh, it would have been better. Um, yeah, so finishing out top of class, which wasn't really challenging, and second overall. You can see the other S-class guys are a wrong way behind. And yeah, we went back over to Spa. Um, so I was in B class yet again. Um, I think I had another race in S class. Oh no, I didn't. I can't remember. I thought I did. No, I didn't. I remember what happened now. Um, it was a wet race at Spa. Won it by quite a way. And then we went back to the lobby. Um, and yeah, we were going to the Nurburgring. And I selected, went to select my car, and uh, yeah, the rest is uh, history. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you in the next one. And yeah, thank you for watching at the end. Hope to see you in the next one, and bye for now.